Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meatshield and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite where we are on the hunt, we're on the search, we're not on the hunt, we're on the search for a gunsmith, Mr. Chen Lin. He has been taken by the Flying Squad, something to that effect, um, to the Good Time Club. So, so we need to track him down. Um, apparently the, no, the, the cipher book that I was meant to be, uh, I was looking for in the last episode. Um, I misheard, I didn't hear what, uh, Elizabeth said about everything seemingly being taken to the Good Time Club. But I, know, I picked it up back in editing, so, I could have sworn that everything just shook. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, yeah, everything did just shake. It was because of him. Oh god. Fuck. Shoot the handyman in the heart for extra damage. Okay, well, I'm trying. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Away. 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 Uh. No. Ow, 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 ow. Fucking ouch. Okay, my, my, my shock vigor doesn't seem to be doing anything against this guy. Uh, uh. Come on, Booker, can we run, please? Jesus Christ! Found anything yet. Oh, God damn. I thought she found salts. Why did she not give salts? Oh, Jesus. You go away. Go away, mate. Ugh. Jeez. Don't give me that, thank you. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, Jesus. Fucking hell. Uh, I think I do, yeah. Bloody hell. <laughs> oh, man, that was intense. Jesus. All right, wait, Elizabeth, where have you gone? I'm sorry about what I said at the docks. How are you a thug? Yeah, I am a thug. Can't see how I might have changed your sense of that. You protected me. Job's a job. Oh, right, okay, we're heading in this way. Um, Booker DeWitt auditioned... To oh, this is the Good Time Club. What's what's my what am I auditioning for? I don't like that. There it is, Mr. That Joel. tone. Now we just need to head inside and find Mr. Lin, and just call me Booker. <laughs> You're gonna keep arguing for that, aren't you? There are lions as well now. Since the other day at the lottery, <laughs> you're a brute. And in times like this, I could use a brute. What do you want, Fink? My labor unrest is coming to it. <laughs> now, Fitzroy has got the jungle all riled up. <laughs> a man like me could have use of an old Pinkerton like you. Yeah, I bet you could. What's with all of the, uh, really kind of uptight kind of breathing? You, you, you're a bit high strung there, Finkton? I wouldn't be surprised if you were. Uh, Want to hold on to this? Yes, I would, actually. I'm also gonna, um, get some. Okay. That'll do. Right, what have we got in here? Anything that I've not had recently that I could do with? Uh, reload increase. Decrease shock and reload time. That could be very handy. And it's the only thing that I could really do with at the moment out of all of that. So yeah, let's go with it. Would you rather be dead or dead? Right. 
Hello? Oh dear. Find Shen Lin and get the hell out of here. Now, now, all I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Our first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. He's something of an old hand at handling explosives. Only man I know who hasn't <laughs> lost a limb working with them. <laughs> okay. Yet. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah. Right, okay. We got we gotta move around a bit. Okay, oh, my my aim with this thing is dreadful. Alright, where's where's the old fireman? Give me Can I get that? Maybe get an RPG. Okay. Yeah, go on. We'll do that. Oh, okay, yeah, there we go. Oh, I think I might have got him. Are you trying to go pop? You go and pop. Okay. Oh. I see you. Don't you fucking try it, man. <laughs> Right, where's my carbine gone? Or well, my shotgun? That's what it was. I knew I dropped something. This young goal getter is a former devotee of Lady Comstock. Oh, that is a quick reload gal, on, the, on that now. They don't know quite what to do with themselves. Pick this one up at a hiring fair for a song. Oh, bloody hell. It's a crow. You coming in? Yeah, you sneaky fucker. Yeah, think not. Oh, yes. <laughs> right, is it? There's going to be way more of this. Okay. Okay. Right. Where, where are you trying to go, mate? You're trying to go somewhere. Paying attention to where people are. Oh, I see you. I see you. Yeah, there you are. Oh. Okay, thank you. Well, I appreciate anything. Oh, God. Thank you. Great. My aim is true. Alright, get your gears from here. My aim is dreadful. Your aim may be true. Mine's fucking shite, mate. Alright, that'll do it. Alright, I'm trying to reload them. Fuck's sake, I am all over the place with my controls today. Where's the other one? Oh, right. Fucking. It's a, it's a buzzy thing. Ugh. Yes. Don't worry. Oh, I'll, I'll live. What job? I can say with certainty that I was quite wrong. I'm not interested in your job, Fink. Now, now, I know all 
all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fit Security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but I promise you this. I will get what I want. Well, you're gonna have a fun time trying to crack me then. Because. Because I am a tough nut. <laughs> Alright, what have we got around all of this? I'm gonna I'm gonna do some scavenging, scrounging, exploring. Okay, well all of that just fell through the floor, so I can't grab it. That's fucking helpful. Found some money. Oh, thanks. Is that all the stuff that was on the floor? <laughs> I like how the door just shut behind me as well. Oh. Who, who brings wine in here? Actually, I know some people who probably would. I'm not ashamed to say that I know these people. <laughs> Those people. Fusion. Right. Shield, definitely. Nice. After... Some of the uh, interactions I've had recently could definitely do with the uh, extra shield. Right. No sign of this uh, cipher book just yet. I'm sure it will pop up. Okay, well, I think it might be time to head backstage. I don't think there's anything left around here. There's a door over here. Is there? That's the way down. Hmm. Maybe it is. Let's have a look. There's something a little more close range, I think. I had thought you a fool, dear brother, when you told me that you heard wonderful music trumpeting from holes in the thin air. I began to doubt your mental integrity, but not only have you made your fortune from these doodads, you have lit the path for me as well. Very shrewd man, aren't you, Fink? Hello? Who's that? Stop them! Uh oh, okay. He vanished! No, he didn't vanish. <laughs> Top! Where's the other one going? Oh, I see him. What are you doing? What are, you, what are you not ready for? I'm not asking you to be ready for anything. Right. Chen Lin, Look, nine. Chen Lin, cell number oh, nine. cell numbers. Okay. Uh, what's in... Can you oh, take right. a look at this lock? Let me have a look. I used to work for folks like Fink. Really? And I was with the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking. Throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. There. Right, I'm assuming that leads us into the cells. So what's in here? Lockpick. Ammunition. Coffee. Oh, what a glorious bounty! Uh, nothing up there. Still no sign of this book. Okay. We keep moving. Disposal. Okay. Oh, fuck. Nope. It was <laughs> nice and quick. <laughs> All right. Um... Why'd that door open? Don't trust that. Uh, what, what are you telling me? What have you found? Code book! That's it. That's the book for the clock shop. 
Nice. Well, then we shall head back as soon as we get an opportunity. Or should I go back and do it now? I'm going to go back and do it now because I don't know where I'm going to end up going after all of this. Ooh. Didn't come up in this room. Ooh, gear. Nice. New hat. Storm. Killing with Devil's Kiss, Shock Jockey, or Bucking Bronco causes effects to chain to nearby enemies. Ooh. Very cool. And then there's this. Elizabeth, little help? Really? That little old lock. Well, you're better at, the, it's at it than I am. Oh, fucking hell, that was quick. Need money? Okay. Thank you. Cash. Even more money. Glorious. Now I've got to remember where the bloody how I find that uh, thing with the si the wall with the cipher. I think it was over this way. Something about a clock shop. Ah, yes, this was it, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, give me a second. The broken clock tolls at midnight. Which clock? This looks like the one. Set it to midnight. This one. Oh, this one. Oh, oh wow. Baby. Okay, that's definitely worth doing then. Locksmith bag, a voxophone. I came to Columbia because I believed in God and because I believed in honor. But Slade has shown me this. There is no God in shutting our brothers out from the family of man, and there is no honor in defending those who are strangers to its meaning. Perhaps in Finkton there is one more deserving of my service. Did she go on to become, like, head of security for Fink? Ooh, maybe. Okay, let's, let's get back to where we were. Alright, I'm assuming the cells are through this way, then. Uh, machine gun, don't need that. More screens. Tell us what you know about Fitzroy, you goddamn gook. Huh. Oh, you know, dear. You can hear us. You want to say something? You want us to bring in Mrs. Lynn for company. Uh, throw a bucket of ice water on him. We've got three more to bring in tonight. Turn that off. Don't need to see that. <sighs> God damn it. Alright. Let's see if we can find him. He's down here. Ooh. I, I'd fall back if I were you, Elizabeth. Okay, hi. <laughs> this is only a couple of them. To tax the black more than the white, is that not cruel? To forbid the mixing of the races, is that not cruel? To give the vote to the white man and deny it to the yellow, the black, the red. Is that not cruel? What could people have done yeah. to deserve to be locked up in a place like this? I think don't need much of a reason. No. No, he doesn't. Under an ocean of water, cruelty can be instructive. And what is Columbia if not the schoolhouse of the Lord? Ugh. I'm not even going to get into any of my thoughts on all of that. I don't think it would be wise. Hell. Oh, hi, Slate. It's Slate. He looks... You were right. Sparing him was no mercy. Do I get the option to take him out while I'm here? I don't know if this is going to work. I suppose that was what he wanted. I should have done that the first time. I shouldn't have... I should have let him have the death that he wanted. I, I do regret sparing him. Let me 
certainly doesn't deserve whatever the um, whatever he was put through. Oh. This is not a fun place. Right, that's number nine. This is number eight. Do you unlock okay. this? Sure thing. All yours. I found some money. Want it? Thank you. Very nice. I was just checking all of these barrels. <laughs> They've all got stuff in. Uh, oh, hello. Um, oh, gear. Shock jacket. When struck, 50% chance to shock nearby enemies. Victims take 50 damage, vulnerable for 2 seconds. Ooh, what am I currently wearing? Increased clip size is also very good. Uh, I'll just take the gear. Alright, let's go and find Mr. Lin. You can crack this one open. I'll see what I can do. Hopefully he's still alive. This is it, isn't it? Yep. Number nine. Done. Okay, this is a very big cell. You're a lion. But you can't blame me for looking after my own interests, can you? Now I know Fitzroy has come calling. But I think you'll find your business with her oh, has come God. to an end. <laughs> Lions walk with lions, DeWitt. Not hyenas. This doesn't seem to be going particularly well. I don't know if he's alive down there. God. I don't know what I'm going to find when I get down here. Oh, there's just blood smears all over the floor. It's not even going to be him, is it? It's going to be some sort of mannequin or a, a dummy. There's nothing lying around here anyway. Alright, push the button. Okay. We're too late. God damn it. Fuck. This is what he meant. Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. What? What? Where the hell did... I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want? What do you see here? From this angle. Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Chen Lin. The body's gone. It was never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have to go through to this other Columbia, but how? It's like riding a bicycle. Never really forgets. One just needs the courage to climb a board. Okay. If we go into the stair, I don't think I'll be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? Well, this is certainly an interesting twist. Okay. All right, let's okay. do it. Another world, Booker. Another Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed. Okay. Yeah, how are things gonna be different here? Oh, that's that's the thing with like alternate dimensions and stuff. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up a repeater, because I wanna try out this gun. Is it how much how much different is it to the machine gun? Everybody sounds very angry. Okay, there's a lot of inmates here. Hi, how you all doing? Okay. Uh, ooh, wallet. 
Ne kazandı. Well, that guy's still dead. <laughs> uh, different number of barrels. Well, apparently, that one I have still searched. And Sleet is still dead here. Okay, so some things haven't changed. Uh, oh, this is this is very busy. Okay, so they sent him back to his shop, which I, I know that's where I'm going anyway. I don't understand how Chen Lin is alive now. We're in a world where he was never murdered. Somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change something like that and have everything else remain the same. Not really. It didn't quite work that way. These men. I killed them. They were dead. Not in this world. What the? Look at their noses. They're they're all bleeding. Is that something to do with them having been killed in another reality? Oh, this is weird. They remember. Remember what? Being dead. Oh, that is just weird. What is going on here? Fuck. Okay. Well, okay, hi. You're a little closer than I expected. There you are. There's a bit stuck. Oh my god. Oh, oh fuck. There's another one upstairs, where is he? There you are. Come on. I know you're in. There you are. That man is. In the other world, he was the one who was strung up on the wall. In the other world? This whole business makes my head hurt. Oh yeah, welcome to the world of like... Mm. Here you go. Lovely. Welcome to the world of like, sci-fi and... alternate realities and... It's just gonna make your head hurt, just be glad that we're not... Well, I think in some ways we are dealing with time travel as well, aren't we? Oh, it's just gonna make things even worse. Okay, back out to... Finkton we go. Let's see... The Plaza of Zeal, that's what this place is. Okay, we're locked in on this side. We can get out over here, though. Uh, oh. Okay. What are, we, what are we dealing with over here? Ooh. I, I see you. I don't know if you. I think I might have killed you. All right, that's that's fine. Ooh. Where? Oh god. Something don't look I don't know what that is. Oh god. Ooh. Are you are you a heavily armored sod? I think you might be. Catch. Oh, catch. Yep, yeah, thank you. Got it. While I totally get the recoil, it's it's kind of frustrating. Right, there we go, I think that guy's dead. Right, let's go let's go repeater. Oh, I see you! There you are! Watch out! 
Watch your head, Elizabeth. Don't run in the line of sight. Can I shoot this? Can I blow that up? Oh, God. For fuck's sake. Mate, you're doing a good enough job of that already, mate. Alright, just just stop it. Oh, I'm gonna back off. No, I'm not coward. I'm just I'm just trying to like conserve my health. Oh yeah, I see you up there. Got you? I got you. Good. I see. So I hear somebody talking big. You got no backbone. You got no face. <laughs> oh. Fuck. Right, that one's dead. Good. Oh, very low on ammunition now. Uh, might there be some lying around? Uh, sniper rifle. Don't want a sniper rifle. More money. Ooh, Cash. money's lovely. Not exactly what I'm after. That'll I've got do. plenty of that. Ammunition, though. All right, let's go pay the old gunsmith a visit. Booker, look. The shrine. It's a figure of Comstock now. Oh, well, that doesn't. Bode well, does it? I don't know which weapon to be ready with. I'll stick with this. What the hell is? Oh, he's he's like torn between realities or something, isn't he? Mr. Lin, Chen Lin. Excuse me, Chen Lin. Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines very dangerous. No place for stupid people. Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin... Downstairs! What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in, in some way he remembers that too. How would you reconcile that? I don't know. No, that really is weird. What, what can we do about that? I mean, I don't know if there is anything we can do about that. So, what, wait downstairs? Kill my husband? Calm his troubled thoughts. Ease his burden. Bring Chen Lin back to me. Sarah Lin. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I'm Mrs. Lin. No, I, I mean a little Chinese lady. She was... Booker, this is Mrs. Lin. They took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe if, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police. They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. Right. Would having his tools back fix his mind? Maybe. We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to Shantytown. Okay. Well, I seem to be wrapping up these episodes in the same spot. <laughs> yeah, we'll, well, let me let me head out of the gun shop because I I'll, otherwise I'll have to replay all of that when I come back for the next episode. Did you notice? Lin had a bloody nose. Seems to be in style. This Tara. I'm not so sure it was a good idea. Hmm. Might not, have, might not have been, but it's what we did. But yeah, we'll we'll head over to Shantytown. Um, this is very interesting. It's taking a very interesting turn on how the realities kind of intertwine and how they affect each other, as opposed to being like wholly separate. It's very cool. Very interesting kind of way to work with uh, with kind of an alternate reality kind of twist.
But I will wrap this episode up here and just say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out the playlist on the channel for more Let's Plays on Metal Covers, and give this video a like or a comment just to leave your thoughts. And if you wish to join the ever-growing ranks of the Order of the Shield, subscribe on YouTube, chuck me a follow over on Twitch, or maybe even consider checking out my Patreon and becoming an officer within the ranks. But thank you again for watching this video, and I will catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Meat Shield, signing off. Shit. <laughs> Doing a runner. Going. Fucking Christ.